everyone. Welcome back to another Transformers toy review. Today we're going to take a look at Skylinks from the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron toy line. And this one has been a long time coming. I've had this one for ages and sat there in his box. He's been waiting very patiently for me to open him up. And I have done. You can kind of see him in the background here. I haven't taken a proper look at him, but I just thought I'd show you the box and stuff and just give you quick first impressions um, as part of the review and then I'll go through and obviously we'll take a look at both modes, transformation, etc, etc. So here's the uh, box art. Fantastic. You've got the two parts of Skylinks here. The kind of bird part here, which is flying into action and the actual Lynx part. And then you get some of the other figures that are part of the kind of uh, Wolf Cybertron line. You've got um, uh, dirge down at the bottom here and then you've got Ramjet which I think was one of the other sets here as well uh, I don't know if there's any other figures and on here on the side oh yeah you've got Thrust here sneaking up so he's a commander class as you can see so that's the kind of biggest one that they do basically on the back here you've got uh, pictures of Skylinks the combined mode with the kind of um, space shuttle and the other bit I don't know what you would call it and then you've got the actual bird the lynx uh, then you've got the combined uh, beast mode or animal mode and then you've got this kind of uh, base mode type thing here for micromasters which so you can kind of plug them all in which is a, a pretty neat idea as well so you've got that so and then in the box itself you get a uh, all the usual goodies so you get your uh, Wolf Cybertron Skylinks instruction book uh, ages 8 plus and then you've got his kind of tech specs and stuff on here which is all very nice it's quite a, a big old instruction book as there's lots of stuff to go through with it you get uh, this kind of cutout piece which is part of the kind of Wolf Cybertron map where you can use your kind of decoder to look through and uh, see all the different places on the map uh, and that one is the the dead universe uh, you get this bit obviously and then you get uh, a couple of these kind of blaster things which uh, I haven't seen where they slot in yet and then we've got all these blast effects so lots of different blast effects as well so some are the same but uh, yeah you get uh, to three that are the same there and then these ones are all just slightly different blast effects so five six seven blast effects in total sorry couldn't quite see them because i had them all down here but uh, seven blast effects in total and then if i bring in quickly just to show you the two of them so yeah you get the space shuttle bit here um first impression is i i have transformed it very quickly in back uh, so I've had a bit of a, a play around. But first impressions are good. There's loads of panel work and stuff on here. I love the things like Magnificence on the side and NASA. The Autobot symbols. There's loads of panel work. And the gold paint and everything is done really well. Um, even on here. And it does hold together pretty well. I to, you do have to secure the wings. Um, and once they are in, they are secure. But um, for ages it was kind of bugging me how to do it because it didn't seem secure so I will go through that as part of the review uh, this bit opens up as well a bit like the the original I don't know if you have anything that you can plug in there so it's that bit and then this bit I haven't properly looked at yet so it's kind of the, the base bit but I did have a little sneak under just to take a look at the uh, take a look at the head in there so that's that so that's where we are at the moment I'll um I'll have a little look and then we'll uh, take a look at it properly. Right, so um, I'm just going to put uh, this bit off to the side. Um, so this is kind of how he is for this mode. Uh, it doesn't really do anything in this mode apart from kind of connect to the other part of Skylinks. You do have these bits here, which kind of uh, kind of blasters, which you can add to either bit I guess and move around and you can kind of be a bit of an armoured tank or you can have uh, someone to kind of s sit you know on here if you want to um, as a feature when it comes around to the shuttle mode this bit does open up 
come a, like a bit of a ramp um, and there is room in there to get figures so if you wanted to you could kind of have vehicles or other other ones join in I think this would work quite well with the Space Odyssey set which I haven't opened up yet so you could have kind of cars going in there and uh, there's probably room in there for a, a couple of vehicles uh, but it's quite a, a tight fit um, so that, there you go maybe one and a half but it's fairly easy to get them in and out you just have to kind of um, almost like turn it upside down and do that and that just clips in back underneath there um, so that's that um, and then uh, yes I think yeah these bits they clipped onto these back ends here the legs are clipped in on each side by a couple of pegs and the same with these ones here uh, they can sort of come undone uh, a little bit but um, overall there's lots of paint on here gunmetal paint on here going all across all the tank treads painted there's wheels underneath here as well which is all very nice so he does roll very well the space shuttle side i think i showed off some of the details like with the nasa the magnificence all the paint deco and kind of detailing on him uh magnificence and nasa on both sides this bit does also open up as well um so yeah it doesn't doesn't look as if there's like an arm or anything that came out like in the first one but there is a peg there so Presumably you can peg in a gun or, or something along those lines, potentially, as well. And there's little spots here to add different blast effects on here um, at various different points. And you've got the Autobot symbols on here, which are done with kind of like a gold outlay. Um, so these bits here, where the wings plug in, um, when you first do it, it feels like you just like hook them on, but you do actually have to actually push them in and click them in properly so if they feel loose it's probably just I haven't pushed them in far enough and then you've got boosters on the back here where you can add various blast effects as we go on now clipping this on uh, I should mention as well there is landing gear underneath Skylinks so you have two and one underneath here so you can then do that um, if you want a bit of a size comparison here is thrust who is a voyager so he's bigger than a voyager just in jet mode space shuttle mode as it is to clip him on you do need to plug these bit back in there are a couple of clips on skylink so you've got this one here which is going to peg into here and then you've got this bit here should peg over that bit here this bit's fairly easy this bit you only need to apply a bit more pressure so you kind of click that on and then this one here you do have to kind of apply a bit, a bit of pressure and I did it earlier and kind of pushed it up as well at the same time because otherwise it Sorry, it's a bit tricky to do with the camera. So I think I pushed it, there we go. I pushed it towards me this way and then you can hear it clicking. So once it's in, you can then peg all these other bits in a little bit better uh, and that'll stay in, stay in place a little bit better. And it still rolls fine. And then it's kind of view all the way around. And then you can plug in your various different blast effects <clears throat> into here so you've got three matching ones so if you wanted to you could use that for the three these three in here like so and have it that he's kind of taken off like that this looks good and then again just to show you alongside thrust he's a voyager he's a good bit bigger than him in that mode and there is one of the micromaster ones so that scales really well with the kind of micromaster figures 
and then you've got various different blast effects here you could add in different places you could that he's being kind of shot at if you want to things like that and they are like all over the shop so you can do that and then um, to transform him so um, what I'll do is I'll do his overall combined mode and then I'll take them apart and show you that just because it's easy to show while he's like this so first thing and easiest thing to do is the legs <laughs> oh bless me sorry I didn't know I was going to sneeze so it just like, snuck up on me a little bit so you've got their legs here like that so you can sort these out afterwards but just to give you an idea they just, they're fairly loosely pegged onto there and then you just kind of bring them down like that on either side and um, yeah just splay them out however you want to at the moment I mean you can have them like that uh, they are pretty good the legs so they, you know they go out like that um, on a ratchet it's quite a stiff one there in and around all the way rotation there forward uh, nothing back so it's kind of they're encouraging you to kind of have it like that and then the feet go forward back they've got uh they've got a wheel underneath no uh, they've got pegs underneath um, and then you can kind of get like a bit of a uh, a real big kind of rocker on them as well so you can get them in quite a kind of wide stance if you want to so there's plenty of stability and stuff on there and you can get them st stood up however you want to i'll just adjust the camera slightly as i sort of go ahead and transform the rest the head you want to pull away from the body like that and extends it's a real smooth motion as it does and these are all on little ratchet joints move up and down like that and then you can move it side to side so you get a good deal of flexibility out of that you see as I was kind of like doing that um, sort of legs are moving around a little bit but uh, that's to be expected so uh, not the most stable thing that I've got it on and then you open up his mouth like so just to show you what it's like and then you can open his mouth open that wide and then he's got uh, like a tongue in here with a gun uh, so you can then attach a blast effect to that if you wish to like so and his head holds well his head holds up but his tongue doesn't so you can kind of get it done in a particular way where you're gonna kind of do that so so it looks pretty good and you can want to use one of the lighter blast effects or a blast effect from a different figure if you want to uh, and plug it in there because you know they're all kind of compatible and things like that so you can mix and match however you like but uh, there's plenty of flexibility on the head you know it can look all the way back like that you can go up like that open up go down look around the side like that so you you know you've got tons of options for this one so it's ultra poseable the tail uh, does a similar thing to the g1 toy you take these bits off here and then this bit is gonna open up like so and a similar thing where it all kind of folds out like so like that and you can move this from side to side uh, these are all on joints. They're not ratcheted, but oh, uh, see that one comes off. They're on like these little peg things, but uh, it you know holds the weight fine. And this bit moves from side to side. I think you can move that back in there, um, but it does restrict the movement if you want to move this bit up. So you can do like that, and then just kind of do it like that if you like. And then these bits here. Um, will also come out so I think how they've got it on the box is that uh, you have these bits out like this so I'm just trying to pull the wings out like so 
and then they kind of have these bits up like that and then across and out so these kind of open up all the way and the same on the other side pull this out out like that and then this will come out like so for the wings I think you can also move these out as well so I think that's more to do with the transformation um, in like the third mode but you can have it out like that but I think the official way to do it seems to be like that these bits move up and down you can move these forward and back as I mentioned you can pull them out up and down and then these wing pieces open and close and push in and out and you can see there's like a little mushroom peg for that one so just be careful with that there we go so yeah you've got lots of options with that one i notice on mine uh the ratchets on one side this side are probably like a, a little bit uh, stronger than they are on the other um, so that's a thing and the other thing to do with the transformation this bit sometimes kind of comes undone so I'm not sure if that's supposed to lock in place or anything oh do these bits supposed to come out in this mode no I think these bits stay in but they do come out for the uh, what you call it mode the kind of links mode so yeah that is him in his kind of beast mode if you like it looks pretty good it holds together pretty well as well it's a, quite an imposing figure um, so uh, I'll grab a deluxe figure just as a bit of a size comparison so that's a deluxe figure in robot mode one of the sort of titan masters so you can see uh, this guy is you know pretty big in comparison and um you know like i brought in the little micromaster down by the side there he's a bit diddy uh, and just because i'm messing about with these at the moment a little battle beast down at the bottom there so yeah yeah it's a uh, it's very good actually um i'm just seeing if i'm sort of missing anything out on that one um yeah on the structures they actually have these bits actually a little bit further forward so they kind of have them almost like that so on the box anyway i don't know if that's the correct way to do it i will just double check the instructions just to be sure on that see how they've got it all done it's a, it's a big old instruction manual I'm just double checking where they've got everything um, da, da, da. yeah I think I can't show them bent forward like I've got them at the moment so I think that's probably the way to go with it um, but yeah essentially that's it that's him in his um, kind of combined beast mode and then if you want to split them apart um, you've got the same thing that we had before so um, you kind of clip it off here and then it comes off nice and easy I'm going to put the kind of bird bit off to the side here and then you open up this bit underneath it's fairly easy uh, and you're just going to bring up this head bring this bit down here and then you've got the head in there and then you've got the tail piece is here and essentially i think that is him in this mode just double checking that i'm not missing anything no that's that's it in this mode um and again like all the pictures kind of show him more with the kind of back these back legs out a little bit more like that like that 
but you know it's entire, entirely up to you how you want to um, do have that configured really um, so we've gone through the leg articulation obviously these you can move them around and have them on the front or the back however you want to and just kind of going off how they've got them on the instructions I don't know if you can add any of the little blast effects to them yeah you can add those to there and, and have them kind of shooting at something if you want to so you've got that as another option uh, they didn't really stay on that well um, I guess they do it's just when you rotate them around they do kind of tend to come off maybe not meant to be rotated around but you get um, articulation here with the head side to side um, you get doesn't move forward and down unless you kind of move this bit out of the way so but you can do that if you want to but the head itself moves up to there down to there then the mouth opens literally all the way way open as well and then you've got another tongue here with a blaster on which you can add a uh, blast effect on this is all painted gold Autobot symbol in the front. The eyes are painted like a kind of aqua or kind of teal color uh, as well. So you can do that. I'll just show you with the blast effect in, like so, like that. And so I'll just pop him off here a second. And then if we're going to show our bird brain here, there's not much else to do here apart from fold out his legs. So, bring these out and bring the feet out like that. So, and then with this one, they kind of have the wings show again a slightly different configuration. So, you should kind of show them. Kind of back more back like that but then that's that's the bit that's loose on mine with this bit kind of folds down so i tend to kind of i think i did them like that before because this bit kept on folding down here so i don't know if this pin is slightly loose but uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying on mine. So you've got that, and then you just kind of have to sort out the feet a little bit, really, to support the body, because he's got these kind of funny little legs. Um, you know, he's got a fair bit of weight on him, so it's really about kind of finding that weight distribution. I did have it all right before, but some reason I can't really stand them up properly now. Yeah, it's, I'm having a bit of trouble standing them up now. So yeah, you can <laughs> you can get him standing up all right in this, um, but I'm having a bit of trouble doing it at the moment. Um, just trying to get in balance, and I think that's why they have the wings pitched back like that. Um, but mine kind of droop down a bit if I do that. So in this mode, it's not it's not it's not no good for me really. So I'd need to get something just to tighten that bit up. That's why I've kind of had him like that. But it means then that he's a little bit off in terms of his kind of balance. But you can get him standing up okay. It's just a bit of a, a bit of a job to do so. And these legs are a little bit spindly looking. Um, but there is a fair bit of articulation. You can make them wider. So you can do that if it if it helps um, but then it does look a little bit awkward 
and you know these bits rotate here this bit goes forward and back forward and back here um a rocker there even these bits are all articulated on ratchets so there is a load of articulation in there i just it doesn't hold the weight too well there you go i kind of i've got them going there but you know like his legs don't look that attractive <laughs> i think like if you look look at the box art and stuff like that they kind of have the legs a little bit kind of like this Yeah, it is, I'm not going to lie, it is kind of a challenge with these. So, yeah, the legs aren't, the legs aren't the best, in my opinion. Um, there you go, it kind of leans back. I guess you could kind of get it in a place where you're kind of getting the tail to support him if you wanted to. But, yeah, otherwise he's kind of, le he wants to lean forward. A bit yeah I can't quite get it right and if you do have him have the claws a little bit more forward that could be the other option so you could do it like that I'm just I know I'm not you can't see the top half but I'm just kind of doing it like that a little bit so it might be okay on others where you can uh, you know, lean these back a little bit better. See, that side's fine. It's just this side here. This option. I mean, it's holding now, but I don't know how well that other wing will hold up. So, yeah, he's all right in this mode, but uh, the legs are a little bit spindly and weird looking. So that's that. And then if you're going to go into this other kind of base mode thing, I haven't actually done this before, but I can kind of see what it looks like off the off the pictures. You basically you're getting this one into his space shuttle mode. So you want to just push all of this back in. That'll click in. This all goes back underneath here like that. And these claws will just peg into that gap into there. I think that's right. Like that. Same on this side. Like that. So that's where you've got the peg on the outside. Uh, you may want to rotate things around slightly just to make sure everything's aligned up properly, which will help the, the legs, the wings peg into it a little bit better. So that's the only thing you might want to do. And then these wings will all peg together like this, like that. Straighten these up. And then this is where you push these bits in together and then just apply a bit of a pressure and they will click in. Uh, if you haven't done it properly, they just won't hold in. So that's, you know, sound stuff, but that is the way to tell. And then these bits just kind of like fold in on themselves. Like that, like that, like so. And then you just want to push that down and then this bit will should just come over and fill into that gap like that. So you've got it back into space shuttle mode. So I'll pop that off to one side a second. Now, with this next mode, um, it's all about this, really, how this is configured. So you want to open this bit back up and then fold the head back down out of the way, like so. That looks as if it, it pegs in underneath there. Um, now, you want to bring this round. So I'll just take these bits off here. So it looks like this bit, these bits here open up like that to form like the base bit. 
this bit is going to come out as well it's part of the part of the base mode here as well so like that hopefully you can see that properly like so these bits will come down like that and they can peg onto other bases That's a really tight connection there. We'll get it out. God. I don't want to break that at the same time. I do want to actually test it out. There we go. God, that's tight. I could, I could feel it coming though. Um, so these bits come down. So we've got the little wheels down on here. And then it looks like these bits here straighten up and go up like that. And then straighten up. And then it looks like you kind of have these bits kind of facing forward from the pictures anyway. But that one's just going off. And like that. And then you can put your, what well shows on one, it shows one, like a blaster on here like that which kind of moves around. And then on the other one, it kind of shows this more as a, I don't know what that be, like a satellite or a receiver or something like that. Um, it just shows it side on, but you can move it however you want to. You can have two blasters or, or do whatever, really. And then these other bits, it actually shows them coming around here and actually just peg down like that, it looks like. So like that, and then you've got um, these sections on here, which looks as if they correlate with the kind of blaster ports. Um, the these bits on the bottom here. So you just want to line those up and pop that on there. So line them up. that is that gonna stay hopefully so that looks fine this bit this bit opens up as we mentioned before and then this bit does it extend yes it does extend and where does that does it plug into there uh, it looks like it should peg into there um, but I can't see that anyway it's got it just resting there at the moment so I'll, I'm just going to double check and consult with the instructions and get back to you on that but that is it so far um, I'll bring this up so you can take a proper look at it we'll clean it up and uh, we'll take a look right here we go um, basement is pretty much done there is um it's not super secure when you put it in but there's like a little notch just here so when you pull it forward as long as you've got it fully extended you push that in it does hold it up a lot better there's like a little area in here where you could hide little micro masses um in there which is quite neat or energy on cubes or anything else like that um obviously you can move these bits around however you like um as well so you got the option to do that as well and just adjust this sort of brightness on here a little bit um, and then you've got all of these areas here where you can add you know different bases and things on um, so you do have the option of doing that the extra ramps and, and things like that so again kind of like reverting back to the instructions one of the things that it shows on here is it connecting to um, the kind of ironworks bit so if I you know connect it up here you can do that so 
So you can have them kind of connected up here. Um, you can have something like that if you want to. Um, here's like one of the other like MicroMaster Space Shuttle ones. So you can have them, you know, in around this kind of playset, just to show you like for scale what what they kind of look like. Um, and then you've got um, this guy here who comes with Mega Supreme, I can't remember his name, I think it's Countdown. Um, so another one that kind of could fit well in this set here. So if I just kind of like transform him, get him into his like lunar buggy sort of mode. I remember how it goes if, if it's yeah I think I think it's like that yeah is it like that oh, I know I'm doing something really silly and something's wrong but I thought for some reason it was just like just like that because that's kind of like how the other one goes but you you know he can fit on the those kind of ramps like that you know that looks that looks all right you can have him kind of coming down here if you want to and he'll, will he hold in that position or not if you can kind of jam his wheels in a little bit yeah so you can kind of jam his wheels in between that bit to if you want to have him going down there if you want uh you've also got these other ones along here so you can kind of connect them to either the other bases um or you've got the other ramps as well so um, I think we've got one of the, the yellow ones, you know, the one for like a shield. Um, one second. So they will also connect to these ones in here as well. So you can use them as like platforms kind of going off like that as well. So you got quite a few different little options for you there. I think that kind of works quite well with everything. You see how it kind of all scales and fits together. It's a good, really good toy actually. I think I probably have it in the kind of combined kind of um, mode here. I think that's probably the best mode. But this is really good as like a like a scene setup. I imagine you'd be able to also connect it to a Mega Supreme space mode as well. That would be quite a neat thing to have it in there as well. You know, it's quite a cool thing that they've done here to manage to incorporate a another mode into this. You think, you know, you've got the combined shuttle mode. Uh, you've then got the, the two beast modes. So that's kind of three in there. And then the other combined one and then the other ones it's like five different things from it so they've done a, a really nice job of it and all the extra little ramps and things like this so you've got these ones coming off here uh, ones coming off here ones off here and then you know all these ones off here so you could build yourself like a real little city if you wanted to um, and I think it would work well again with that um, space patrol set um, it's not called that, but it's called something else. There, there was like a Amazon exclusive set. So I think it would work quite well with that. So when I come around to review that, I'll probably combine it with this just to show it all off. Anyway, that is it for now, guys. Sorry for waffling. It's um, it's definitely one that I would recommend um, to, to buy as part of your kind of chug collection. Uh, I did have the... MMC one, which is probably better in terms of like an like an overall toy. It's definitely more expensive. It's probably double the price uh, and bigger in size and everything. But this has still got um, a fair bit of weight and kind of heft to it. I think the only disappointing thing is the kind of bird mode on its own. The legs are a little bit too scrawny and don't quite hold the weight and I had that issue with the wing that doesn't quite hold its weight other than that it's a fantastic toy um, I mean if you look for a masterpiece one I'd probably point you in the direction of the MMC one but this is a great chug scale one and uh, yeah fully recommend it that's it for now guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye for now